So the messages I was getting for you was something ended before you were ready. So whatever that means to you, I do feel like you guys are feeling very alone and like stagnant. Like how can you move forward? What can you do to move forward? And it's almost like I feel like what did end for you was supposed to even though it is hard whatever it was of course it's gonna be hard but it was supposed to end for a lot of you I do feel that this is a relationship uh, maybe a long term relationship that like just ended and maybe I don't know it's almost like you know it's for the best but it's still hard so I do apologize as well for the late reading uh, my office was under construction so for those of you interested in a personal reading, go check out my website at swordstarot.com to look at my different reading options over there. Also, be sure to go check out the new merch at swordstarotmerch.com. I have a lot of super cute stuff over there for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into the video. What is the energy surrounding Gemini? What is the energy surrounding Gemini? Okay. Ooh, also, what I was getting for you guys, um, there is someone that is going to try to return or somebody that has tried to return. So we do have the Eight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. So yeah, there's definitely a conflict. Um, I feel like a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing. The Eight of Wands could be a lot of text fighting as well. Maybe you and this person are going back and forth um, in a text war. <clears throat> um, but Ace of Cups energy. This could be new love for some of you guys, or this could be issues in love. Maybe um, whether this is a past person or somebody new that you're dealing with, um, or someone that's fairly new in your life. Um, something's not going right. Knight of Wands energy. This person may be very immature. I don't know why my cat likes to sleep on the desk, but I do feel like now you're just, I'm not sure if there's going to be a future. Okay, Ace of Pentacles energy in the Page of Cups. Okay, so I do feel like maybe you guys have some sort of um, business together, whether it's an actual business or this is just like bills and maybe live together or something like that. I feel like some of you are really thinking about how you can make money, new ways of making money. And I feel like for some of you, this is because you're gonna move. Knight of Wands energy here, you might be moving or you hope to move. Uh, the thing is with the Ace of Pentacles, I do see you finding Whatever that is, yeah, you're going to be finding whatever that is. I see you getting paid from something, and it's possibly something new. I see a lot of new energy coming in your life as well. Um, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this you are attracting new love, and you are attracting new work. But I do feel like for those of you that are looking for work so you can move, I do see you finding it. So be sure that you are using money wisely at this time. Six of Pentacles, the energy that you put out there is the energy that you'll get back, which is actually amazing because, of course, you guys are Geminis, your master manifestors. Um, put in the energy because you will get it right back. Like, I feel like you're going to manifest this very quickly. It's almost like you thought about it, and here it is. So, yeah, be sure that you're just focusing on that, focusing on yourself and what you can do to heal and do better. Uh, Five of Cups energy with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like this person is unstable. Um, possibly any way, financially, mentally. Um, but I do feel like this person is like the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is somebody that is controlling, also is just kind of unstable at this time. This could be someone that you're dealing with. Why is the Eight of Wands here? For some of you, this is a family member and you are dealing with this. And I do feel like this could be something that you worry about. Maybe you do worry about this person. Okay, clarifying the Eight of Wands, we have the Page of Pentacles. For some reason, I feel like somebody is just going to come at you with new energy. I don't know if I trust this because the fact that the Five of Wands is next. Yeah, I feel like you're somebody's fighting too hard for this to be perfect. Four of Wands energy. I feel like every time you're going to end up disappointed. Why is the Five of Wands here? Maybe this is a marriage? You could be married to this person. The Fool card energy. Yeah, I feel like you want to go. A part of you wants to go and take that chance. Why is the Fool here? Is that card that just flipped over? Oh, okay. So we have the Devil that flipped over in the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so you're scared. Because maybe financially you're bound to this person or this person's financially bound to you. 
Yeah. And that could be the dependency. Financial. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Some of you guys already have new love. The Hermit. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you as well are just wanting to go be by yourself. The Hermit card, this is taking time for yourself. Also listening to your higher self as well. It's a very spiritual card. So be sure that you are, your intuition, listen to it. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, whether this is a relationship, you feel like you're trapped in a situation, uh, listen to your intuition on what to do. I see you finding, if you are wanting to move, I see you finding money some way, somehow. Clarifying the Knight of Wands, we have the King of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, I feel like you do fear that, you know, it would be, I mean, it's emotional. I definitely feel like this is emotional for you because you do love this person, but you know that they're, they're trapping you. Like, you know their control. It's like, you know the right thing to do in this situation. Clarifying the Three of Wands, we have the King of Swords and the Magician. So do know if you make this right decision, you're going to come out so strong. King of Swords, very strong in your energy. The Magician manifesting literally everything that you want. I mean, you guys know how to make shit happen. Manifesting whatever you want. Money flowing in. New opportunities flowing in. But you've got to make the right decision. I see you juggling in your head like, okay, it's not going to get better. Like I said, so, you, someone's fighting too hard, and maybe it's you. Someone's fighting too hard to make this work or to change this person. This person's not going to change. So, yeah, clarifying the Page of Cups, we have the strength in the reverse. You are strong enough to get through this. Ace of Pentacles, see? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. If you make the wrong decision, this is not going to happen. But if you just take that leap of faith, full card energy, and do what you know is right, you're going to come out on top. You're going to be just fine. You're going to be financially stable. You're going to be okay. And I know it's a lot easier, uh, or I guess it's a, like really hard to just say, okay, you know what, fuck it, I'm trusting the universe. Like that's really hard to do, but you've got to let go of control as well. And that could be why you've attracted this person. You've got to be like, you know what, fuck it, universe, take the wheel and, you know, whatever, and you'll be fine. So seven of cups, clarifying the ace of pentacles, you're confused as to where this money is going to come from. Just trust. Why is the Five of Cups energy here? I mean, because if you if you stay in whatever this situation is, whether it's a job, relationship, marriage, whatever it is, you can trust that you're going to feel like this, like forever. Just this person here. You're going to feel like that forever. So it's important to give yourself a chance to be open to change here. So clarifying the Five of Cups, we have the world. So yeah, you know. I mean, you know things could potentially be good for you. Yeah, you got to release yourself out of this situation. You're going to be okay. Some of you maybe have a child. You're going to be okay. Regardless of, you know, your circumstances. Universe, what is the overall advice for Gemini? What is the overall advice for Gemini? Okay. So we have the Queen of Swords energy, the Hierophant, and the Empress. So do what's do what you know is best. Queen of Swords, really think this through. And I feel like you have, overthinking it even. You know if you stay dedicated and just committed to yourself, you're going right up this ladder. You're going to be so happy. You're going to manifest so much, just a lot of happiness, better people, more money. You're just going to manifest all that. And for some of you that are pregnant or have a child, and possibly by this person... It's okay. Just focus on yourself. Do what you got to do. It's not going to be easy at all, but ultimately you are going to feel like this. So free, light, happy, stable. Just focus on what's best for you and your child. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you guys. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.